Hey, welcome back to Biz Talk TV here on Now Rate Media TV. Gosh, I'm going to get that right one time, I'm sure. I'm Michael Rage, your business guide, and I got my good friend Roland Parker from Impress Computers in the house. Roland, how are you today? Hey, Michael, great to be back, and uh, we're looking forward to Christmas. Oh, yeah, we are. But, man, I'm telling you, there's been some uh, important tech news in the text news in the in the news I guess recently you know we had impress you know they, they had this 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 big breach or uh, last pass had this big breach what, what what happened there and how does it affect the business small business owner so you know last pass has uh, millions of of people that are using them and they had a breach back in August then they had another breach uh, somebody got into their system <coughs> so now it's like well how does that affect you as a business owner well, it's very important when something like this happens where all of your passwords are in one place to look at, okay, what could have been compromised? They're saying that your password themselves should still be secure because of the way that it's set up. But it's very important to make sure that you go through and say, okay, let's by default make sure that um, we've got a two-factor authentication on everything that we do. So even though your password is changed, you change your password, change your authentication, go ahead and make sure that uh, you have like a biometric uh, fingerprint or your eye or something like that that's going to add that extra layer of security. So you're not just relying on a password that could get compromised. Yeah, I know business owners are lazy because I know I'm one of them because I was thinking about it today. I was trying to get in an app today I had a car accident a while ago, and I had to get in and check on what's going on. And I couldn't remember the password, and thank God there was a fingerprint thing on there. You know, how safe, and how, you know, you as an expert on, uh, on this, how safe is that biometric versus just, you know, putting in a bunch of random numbers and letters? Well, it's certainly a lot more secure than just a regular password, especially if people put in passwords like password one, and you'd be surprised at how many people are still doing that. So, what should happen is that you should still have a password that you can reset and then to be authenticated with a biometric password or two-factor authentication that goes to your cell phone. Now, even that has been shown that it could still be compromised if you click on a link within your, within your text. So say, for example, if the bad guys get your information, they've got your address, they've got your cell phone number, they've got your email address, what they're going to do is that they're going to send you a text to your cell phone, you click on the link, and now you've exposed a breach where they can monitor that two-factor <coughs> authentication. But it's that more, much more difficult if you add the biometrics to it, because uh, unless they're going to come and cut off your thumb, it's a little <laughs> bit more secure. So it's not a James Bond <laughs> movie, right? You know, we're going to go do one of those. So, so we're coming in. You know, we're coming in the Christmas season here and, you know, we keep hearing about these password, password, password protections. What are some things that we need to be worried about, you know, coming into this time of the year, you know, end of the year that, you know, where these bad guys may be ramping up their game a little bit? So, a lot of people are going to be shipping from the online box stores and things like that. They're going to be getting emails and text messages uh, or pop-ups on their computer and they respond instantly because they think, oh, I'm getting a package from UPS, I'm getting something from Amazon, and they respond to that without thinking about it because they're expecting that package. And that's what the bad guys count on. They count on the fact that you're going to have that knee-jerk reaction. Yes, I am expecting a package, or no, I didn't order that, and they respond to that text. It's so important. Don't respond to the email. Don't respond to the text don't respond to the pop-up. If you want to make sure, log on to your account and then double check. If it says it's coming from UPS, go to UPS and put in the tracking number. Don't click on links that say they're going to take you there because you don't know where, what that link is going to be doing. And remember, it's so important. Whatever you log on to, have your, um, have your two-factor authentication, especially financial transactions or anything like that, but even like your Amazon account, if somebody logs onto that, then they could be ordering on your behalf and shipping it anyway. So um, do your two-factor authentication, don't click on links, don't click on attachments. And you know, sometimes you can even go old school. Make complicated passwords, but write them down in a book, in your notebook that you carry around with you, because guess what? 
it's very difficult for the guys to hack into your notebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I want the guy to go hack into my account and do my Christmas shopping for me. And, because and then like, ship out it's, all it's, your presents. Yeah, ship it wherever, okay. you know, because I haven't even done any. I was like, what, are we 10 days out? I think I got one thing for my son right now. But, you know, I've seen it. I, I, I was out the other day, and I got a text, and it said my package. And, like, I've not ordered any packages. So I know, do we just delete that thing? Do we block it? What do you recommend we yeah. do? Block the number, delete it. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't respond to it. Because mm -hmm. sometimes people say, well, um, Amazon are shipping this package and we're charging your account $500. Mm -hmm. And you, well, wait a minute, I'm, I want to dispute this transaction and it gives you a link to dispute it. And then you click on it and guess what? You've just compromised your whole system. You just gave them 500 yeah. bucks, right? <laughs> so if, if, if we're going to give, you know, let's give something happy, you know, about this and let's, let's go off into the new year on some, some good tech news. What's something good we should be looking at, you know, as business owners that's that going to really help us, you know, thrive and profit going into the next year with, uh, with technology? So the good thing is, is that we're actually seeing um, prices being very competitive at the moment on video cards and processors and things like that. So if you're wanting to upgrade your system, you want to improve your performance, <coughs> now is a really good time to do it. And, um, you know, the, the new 12th and 13th generation processors that they've brought out are so amazingly quick compared to just a few years ago, the 7th and 8th generation. So if you want to improve your employees' productivity, um, improve your performance, you know, add two or three monitors, um, add a faster processor. There's so much more you can do once you get away from just using one screen. Um, I know I've gone to six monitors now, and I still sometimes run out of screen. Dude, how can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Got ADD like crazy. I have a hard enough. You can see my computer over here. I have a hard enough time managing one screen with like 20 tabs. I accidentally closed my t my browser the other day where I had like 30 tabs open and stuff and I couldn't remember and I want to get it back, dude. How do you do six screens? So the thing is, is that you just have different things on each screen that you're monitoring. And you might have a couple of tabs and different things that you're running on each screen, but the main thing is right there. So instead of having to oh, go back to this screen or that back to that screen, you just have them up on your screen and then you just say, okay, you're just moving your mouse across the screens. So we found that um, we had a title company. Everybody used to have one screen. Mm -hmm. They cut down the time that each employee had to spend on documentation by going to two screens, and then improved productivity by 30% when they went to three screens because they had to have three different sets of documents up. And if they did it on the three screens, they could do all the things without having to alt-tab between the and bring your other screen back. So now you can actually get at least 30% increase in productivity by having t three screens versus one. Oh wow, that's amazing. Well, that's some things you know. You know, we were talking about before we started. You know, the types of business I work with and stuff like that. You know, those are the kind of things that I, w I want to be able to go into. You know, because I, I work with a lot of white collar businesses. You know, lawyers, CPA firms, consultants, and stuff like that. It's a great thing to know that we can bring you in and say, hey, you know, talk to my friend Roland yeah. and let's get. I mean, if you're an accountant and you you've got your bank recon up on one, mm. and you've got a spreadsheet over there, and you're having a look at things and you're verifying transactions got a couple of screens you can see them all at the same time and move between them perfect way to increase your productivity oh well, awesome well that's some great stuff for man i appreciate it it's always great when you come in studio i love doing the live things and it's fun every time you come in here we have a good time so i hope you and your family have yourself a happy holiday and merry christmas and uh we'll catch you here probably uh right after the end of the year sounds good thanks michael all right have a happy christmas all right this is michael Ray's your business guide we'll be back with now media tv and biz talk tv right after this